Alright, um, what's up guys? It's your boy Mike Riz, you already know, and I'm trying to get used to this na in the middle of the day, guguluhin ko kayo with some POV or quick do, but yeah, my bad, kung ginugulo ko sa'yo. Kung... O nga pala, kailangan matalino tingnan pag mga ganito, baka masabi ninyo, ano bang alam ko sa basketball eh. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm trying to get used to this, or at least kayo sana masanay na kukulitin ko, in the kukulitin ko kayo in the middle of the day with some, you know, POV or quick do about certain topics uh, in the basketball community or in the basketball world. But first and foremost, man, thank you very much to those who keep supporting the channel, keep viewing our videos. I appreciate all of you, man. Again, enjoy ako, really. This community, I really, really love. I really, really am. Kumbaga, you're the reason why I push myself to put out as much, as, as much content as I can because I really want to give you guys a platform to get to know the players better. And yo, and give also the players a chance to interact with you guys. Madami sa players natin din yung kilala off the court. Off the court, iba sila dun sa pagka-player nila on the court. And I think you already know that with a lot of quick ISOs and straight up episodes. Alright, so um, to those who haven't subscribed, I don't know what y'all doing. A lot more basketball content coming your way every night, every day actually. And yeah, we're just gonna keep on going. Alright? Alright, quick two time. Quick two means mabilis lang to. Actually, I want... Actually, I wanted to talk about this yesterday, but the Chris Banchero Calvin Abueva trade was just too hot. An announcement na hindi ko pwede, hindi pwedeng yun ang pag-uusapan ko. Pag mga ganong tipong uh, pangyayari, tabi lahat, yun ang pag-uusapan. Alright, so I wanted to talk about this yesterday. And now I can, kasi wala namang nangyaring nakakagulat this morning. So I'm just looking forward to saying, uh, to, to, to venting out. How? Uh, well, Coach Franz Pomarin uh, resigned from Adamson. Coach Franz Pomarin has decided that he will focus on his public service, in which I respect that decision, especially now. Wala namang basketball, eh, di ba? Like, mas kailangan siya ng QC as their... Ano ba siya? Konsihal? Mayor? Hindi siya mayor. Konsihal ba? Counselor? Counselor ba? QC needs Counselor Franz Pomarin way more than... The basketball world needs uh, Coach Franz Pomarin, especially with the situation, man. And I think, ngayon naman na COVID, that's a good move then for Coach Franz. But uh, I just wanted to talk about quickly yung stint niya with Adamson. And I really admire Coach Franz Pomarin. Even from before, man, panahon pa nung Lasal days niya na may bigote pa siya. Idol ko na siya, man. And I really, uh, I really wanted to play for him. Even when I was studying in Ateneo, Lasal ang pinapanood ko. Kanila ako kampe. Sorry to the Ateneans na mga ano. Baga sorry sa mga idol ko si na Enrico Villanueva, Rich Alvarez, L.A. Tenorio. Nung time na yun, talagang sinichir ko si na Joseph Yeo, Mac Mac Cardona, T.Y. Tang, Mike Cortez. Yun talaga yung mga idol ko, man. So, nung atinista ako, everyone would like, nagagalit sa akin kasi sinichir ko yung Lasal. I don't know. They just had this bad boy effect na talagang yun yun enjoy ko. So, during that time pa lang, I was always a Franz Pumarin fan. And when he came back to coaching, I mean, to college basketball, when he signed with Adamson, I was already an analyst. And I was really excited because the UAP is just not the same without Coach Franz Pumarin. And it's never gonna be the same because Coach Franz Pumarin is one of the best or one of the most iconic coaches or one of the most successful coaches in college basketball in history, guys. In history, especially with his stint with Lasal. And when he came back, I was just excited, man. Na parang mapapanood ko na ulit yung Lasal Press, mapapanood ko na ulit yung, di ba, yung dala niya sa basketball world, especially college basketball. And talking about his stint with Adamson, Ito muna, gusto kong sabihin. The past few seasons, or at least yung time ni Coach Franz sa Adamson, hindi ka mananalo sa Ateneo talaga eh. Ateneo talaga yung magchichampion. So parang ano yan eh, parang si Michael Jordan yan during the 90s. You can't invalidate or negate yung success na binigay kay, na, na nagawa ni Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, Reggie Miller, Carl Malone. You can't say na hindi sila magaling just because hindi sila nagchampion. They were playing in an era owned by Michael Jordan. The same way Coach Franz was coaching in an era owned by the Ateneo Blue Eagles and Coach Tab Baldwin. Ganun din naman eh. Talo rin naman si Coach Aldin, talo din si Coach Bo, talo din si Coach Lawrence, talo din si Coach Olsen. Kumbaga, hindi mo pwedeng invalidate yung galing ng mga coaches na to. Just because, wala eh. Owned by Ateneo talaga eh. So basically, what I'm saying is, hindi porket hindi silang champion, hindi na successful. Because okay naman talaga yung stint ni Coach Franz sa Adamson. They entered the final for, I, I, I think, three times in four years. They didn't get through to the finals, but, you know man, like Adamson really produced a lot of talent. They had Rob Manalang, Val Chauka, Jeric Ahanmisi, uh, Sean Manganti, Espeleta, like those, Simon Camacho, like those guys were, were studs in college because of Coach Franz and because of Adamson. But, bakit sila hindi umabot ng finals for me is they don't, they just didn't have that oomph player. That oomph player. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but I really can't find the term. 
yung Mac Macardona, Renren Ritualo, JV Casho, Joseph Yo. Di ba? In, in, in recent times or in present times, Ferdi Ravenna, Ray Suerte. Yung player na bigay mo sa kanya yung bola, like, let him go, let him operate. And and when I say oomph player, it's not only his skill set, but he just everything that he brings from the mindset, the culture. At the end of the day, man, underrated you exit ni ni ni, ni Third Ravenna because yeah, Ateneo will still be champions when the UAP comes back, de ba? With Ange Kwame and SJ Belangel, but Third Ravenna epitomizes like the image of Ateneo, the Ateneo Blue Eagles. Nung nandun siya, the same way that UP was all atin to when Paul was there. Yun nga yung iniisip ko eh. like when they lost to UP, talking about Adamson again. When they lost to UP twice, they didn't have a guy that could counter yung dala ni Paul Desiderio sa UP nung time na yun. Hindi nila ma-counter. Kasi iba eh. Iba eh. It's a culture, it's a mindset na dala ng mga specific players. Like Mike Cortez, di ba? Yun yung parang, yun yung kinulang feeling ko ng Adamson. I know y'all are gonna hate me, y'all are gonna say it was Jeric Ahanmisi for them, but Jeric Ahanmisi is a bona fide superstar that would flourish more if he was the second guy or even the third guy. Like a Clay Thompson, man. We're always gonna talk about how Clay Thompson Thompson is one of the best two-way players in the league. But if he played na siya yung superstar, it's not gonna be the same. I hope you understand. I'm not saying Jerick is not a superstar. I'm just saying like if he was in a role na talagang nagfo-focus lang sa, sa shoot, nagfo-focus lang siya sa offense, offense niya, or even sa defense niya, like it would be different. Iba yung weight ng number one guy. Iba yung weight nun. Iba yung weight ng 3D Ravenna. Iba yun, man. And I just felt like they didn't, ha- they didn't have that oomph player like a Renren Ritualo. If Jerrica and Misi had the angas and the yabang of Renren Ritualo, which by the way, next week na yung straight up ni Renren Ritualo. Exciting stuff, man. I'm telling you, exciting stuff. Napakayabang nung hayop na yun. Sino seniors mo nun? Dino Aldeguer, Mark Talan, Mayor Francis Zamora, Dominic Uy, Donald Yado was a sophomore. So, pagpasok mo, hindi ka, hindi ka parang Rookie ako, may hiya ako, ganun. <laughs> Ikaw na agad. <laughs> sobrang yabang, sobrang nag-enjoy ako sa kwentuhan namin. Jerica and Missy had that yabang and that mindset na fuck all of you, man. Like, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this win. Like, fuck y'all. It would be a different story. It would be a different beast itong si Jerica and Missy. Because technically, he has all the skills na kailangan mo for a wing, man. But, yun nga, I just felt like Coach Franz Paman didn't have that oomph player nung time niya with Adamson. But at the end of the day, man, a lot of success for Adamson in Diba? I'm really looking forward to to what Adamson will do post Franz Pumarin, post Jeric Ahanmisi. Uh, that era is done. That era was fun to watch. That era was, you know, and we're gonna remember that era for sure. Diba? And I'm just really looking forward also to Pag may umalis, syempre, may, bab- may, may papalit. So, excited ako sino papalit sa Adamson. And mind you, Adamson was, a, was in a disarray prior to Coach Franz Pumarin even signing with them or coaching them. They were in a disarray. They had the Kenneth Duremdes era. They had the, the Mike Fermin era na okay lang naman, di naman masama, pero iba, iba na ngayon eh. Especially with the lineup of coaches in the UAAP, you gotta have a legendary coach even to compete, di ba? Against Coach Tab Baldwin, Coach Derek Pumarin, Coach Olsen Rasela, Coach Bo Perasol, na, you know, you just gotta be at par with if you really wanna compete in the UAAP. So I'm excited for Adamson. Um, yun lang. I guess I just really wanted to vent. Kasi Coach Franz is one of my favorite coaches. So to all the Franz Pumarin fans out there, and to the, all the Franz Pumarin believers, even during his days with Lasal, yun lang, nag-vent lang ako. So I'm sure kayo din nag-vent, na, nagulat kayo na nag si Coach Franz. But like I said, it was a good move, especially with the times now, na hindi pa naman talaga sigurado. But I won't be surprised that maybe in a few years, he'll come back to coaching. Or when basketball comes back even, baka maano rin siya, mahayok na rin ulit si Coach Franz. Like Coach Chot, man! Coach Chotre just a few days ago came back to coaching and lahat din tayo nagulat noon. Pero, you know, these coaches are too great and are too smart and are too legendary not to fall into that trap of, ah, gusto ko na ulit. And I'm telling you, man, like, the moment Coach Franz resigned, I bet you, different schools already called him for his services. Promise. Yung mga ganyan, di mo papakawalan yan, man. All other schools would love to have Coach Franz pamarin coaching their team. But, you know, we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna tell you all, like, I won't be surprised if Coach Franz pamarin comes back to coaching very, very soon. <laughs> Alright? Yun lang. Actually, nag-vent lang ako. Yun lang talaga. Sorry for disturbing your afternoons, man. I just wanted to vent about, you know, my favorite coach or one of my favorite coaches na nag-resign na nga from Adams. So, hindi to tribute, ha? Hindi namatay si Coach Franz. Coach Franz is alive and well and kicking and doing what he can to, you know, help out yung QC 
at syempre yung time natin ngayon hindi to tribute nagvent lang ako kasi paborito ko si coach Francis eh. nagulat lang ako na nagresign siya from Adamson all right so there you have it man hopefully you all get used to this na nangu- nangungulit ako in the middle of the day i'm gonna see you all later with the mock draft sorry guys Terra for mga pala nakalimutan ko lang sorry Wikipedia ko lang bigla eh na sino ba 8th pick o nga pala Oh, San Miguel na kasulat pa din sa Wikipedia. So sorry guys. Yeah, Terra Firma. We'll make that pick later on. Also, quick ISO. Uh, I'm still thinking about which quick ISO will come out, but I'ma let you know it's either Larry Moyangs or uh, Joshua Monzons. Okay? So yun yung dalawang quick ISO na lalabas today and tomorrow. Make sure you watch out for that. And of course, our straight up clips from that Renz Abando interview. That was fun as well. I know y'all are enjoying Renz Abando. Kala nyo, Kawhi Leonard, no? Nagsasalita si Ren sa bando, guys. Nagsasalita at nagpapatawa pa. I know y'all are enjoying that for sure. So, yeah, there you have it, man. I just enjoy doing this for y'all. Um, hopefully, hit that subscribe button if you have it. I'ma see y'all later, man. I'ma see y'all later for the mock draft and, of course, quick eyes. So, my name is Mike Reyes. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace and love. And Coach Franz, good luck to you. Uh, I doubt it that you watch your, this channel. I doubt it that you waste your time watching this or watching me. But... I regret not being able to play for you. I really wanted to play for you, man. I really wanted to. But, you know. Good luck to you. God bless to QC. And you got a good counselor over there, man. You got a good counselor.